Another day of testimony is over in the murder trial of a former Metro police officer. Today, prosecutors played Dion Cartmel's call to 911, and investigators told jurors why they think Cartmel is not telling the truth. Cartmel is charged with killing his wife at their home in Northeast Nashville. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger has been watching the trial. What's happening now, Mark? Vicki, they are finished after what was a very full day. Jurors listened to police describe how Cartmel's story doesn't appear to add up and his phone call made to 911 after the shooting. Prosecutors play Dion Cartmel's call to 911 the afternoon his wife was killed. Shari Cartmel was shot in the head. Dion Cartmel says Shari accidentally shot herself, but police say Dion murdered his wife. Cartmel said it happened while he was cleaning some guns on the couch. Cartmel told police when they questioned him. I can't sleep, man. I can't. All day. All day, man. All day. It's like, stop thinking about this, man. Detective Chuck Robinson testified Cartmel's story did not appear to match the evidence. Yeah, I saw the blood right there on his shirt. Now, in the, in the statement he gave, he even demonstrated he's reaching over, picking up AR-15, and he hears a gunshot. How does that happen? Right here, she's on your left side. It should be right there. I had questions at that point. Prosecutors also began laying out a possible motive today. We, um, we spoke about uh, maybe meeting up at a hotel room, um, the things that we could do to each other in the hotel room, the things that we would like to do to each other sexually. A fellow officer also testified about a casual conversation with Cartmel two months before the shooting. And he immediately went into a conversation about like if he wants to go out and see his hoes, uh, he'll just tell his wife, uh, he'll play mind games on his wife, sort of like he'll say something like, uh, baby, I'm going to go out and have drinks with the fellas. The couple was also having financial problems, but they were behind on several bills. In fact, there was a big argument at Skyline Medical Center where she worked just a few days before the shooting. The state has the burden of proof here, of course, and we still have not heard from the defense side of everything. Reporting live from downtown Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Mark. Prosecutors may still call up to five more witnesses to the stand. Then it will be the defense's turn to put on witnesses. Court officials predict the trial will take most of the week.